Welcome to the Cross the Line Podcast. My name is Carlos Smith, and today's episode is sponsored by Charlene's Home Cooking on 1136 East Blackstock Road in Moore, South Carolina. Charlene's Home Cooking is a family restaurant that cooks like grandma. Fresh veggies, meats, cooked to order, cakes, pies, cobbler, sweet tea, Kool-Aid, and lemonade. We want you to feel it. She wants you to feel at home anytime that you visit. So make sure you stop by Monday and Thursday, Saturday from 11 to 6, Friday and Sunday from 11 to 7, but she's closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. You can also get a meat with two sides, a meat with three sides, and a veggie plate. And everything is fresh, which she does shop on Tuesdays and Wednesdays to get all fresh food. So if you haven't stopped by there, make sure you check it out. We were just talking about it earlier. Yeah, yeah Charlene. Yeah, Charlene is definitely good. Charlene. And my man Calvin says he stopped by there earlier, but it's, it's definitely worth it. But... Let's introduce today's special guest again, back for the second time. We're missing one member of the group, Dammy 864, but none other than Pointed Peas and the man himself. He just dropped his latest EP, Big Dammy. Yes, Mr. Zabo got it. What's going on, yes, fellas? Sir, man. What's yeah, up, man? I appreciate y'all yes. stopping by again. Yes, sir. But, man, appreciate you, man. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, anytime, anytime, fellas. But uh, like I said, um, you just dropped your EP. How you been feeling about it? I've been feeling good, man. It's a relief. You know what I'm saying? To finally do it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think I was going to ever do something by myself, but, you know, just doing it, you never know till you till you really try. You know what I'm saying? And I really been appreciating any feedback I've been getting. And, you know, it's just been love. Yeah, I thought the project was definitely dope, man. I, I actually stayed up and listened to it. I actually, yeah, I stayed up that night and listened to it. I listened to the whole thing because I like I like it because it's just short, sweet, right, and yeah, straight yeah, to the point. Yeah. So it was dope. So I stayed up. I had to be back at work at what five o'clock that morning. But I stayed up and listened to it. But it's I was listening to it on my phone. But you know I like to actually sit in the car and like yeah, get to feel that vibe yeah. to it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely vibe. dope, man. Like I, I really enjoyed the project. I still got it in my rotation with with Nipsey and Khaled. And, yeah. Uh, I listened to Jim Jones' new 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 project. But it's definitely dope, man. But please, how you felt about it? I was actually like I was I was proud because it was like. Dang, you know, see so much hard work pay off and like mm -hmm. watch it like from a different point of view then it's like, dang, you reaping the blessings of all your hard work and it's paying off. Yeah. And like my it's it's kinda hard to like pick my favorite songs. I got like three favorite songs off. Yeah, that's why yeah. I think y'all know mine is uh yeah, it's crab. still crab crab yeah, yeah. yeah. It's still I still <laughs> Crab's one of my favorite records. I done heard all this year period, like word, man. Crab word. Crab's that just that dope, man. I like uh I like real, of course. I like the whole project. Real yeah. was in, uh, yeah. like I was telling the one you just dropped, Flozy. 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 Yeah. yeah. And that beat is, that tell beat hard, right. man. No, no. To, to me, I was telling Calvin, to me, that sounded like the intro because it just sounded yeah. like. It's making a statement. Yeah, like yeah. you introducing yourself. But I, I, I still get why you wanted to do the first record. Yeah. I wanted to come out with Damn It, Damn it. Yeah. It ain't, Ain't none of us going solo. We drop yeah. a solo project. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I still want to lead off with the fam first. Yeah. You know what it's all about. Yeah, I mean, yeah it, was, it was definitely dope. I, I, I get that all the way, but I was like, man, the feel of that, that record, man, the vibe. And plus, you still had them in the video, too, yeah. man, which, which was still dope. For sure. But did you have any expectations for this project? Um, um, More so, I would say I just wanted everybody to know, you know what I'm saying, that I'm good, you know what I'm saying? Of course, we great as a group, but individually, we are we excellent as well, you know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to showcase my talents, the the different stuff I can do, and I'm not just a hook, you know what I'm saying? That I can I can rap to on like Gotti, or I can come with some smooth like River, or I can come with a message like Crabs, you know what I'm saying? Just want to show the different stuff yeah. I can do. I, I felt like that the first time I listened to y'all when we did the first interview, I was telling you that I felt like you were kind of like, you could do both. Yeah. I mean, all, all y'all could do both. I felt like that yeah. was more like your special with Peas was just like, can flow. Mm -hmm. right? spit, lyrical, yeah. Yeah, yeah I tell you, he, he can definitely he sing. Don't blow, yeah. Yeah, so I felt like y'all all had that special gift when putting y'all together. It, yeah, it just made, that's what made the group just, just oh yeah exactly for sure but uh talk a little bit let's break down the artwork as you see up here big damn like what made you want to go with that for your artwork i wanted to go with my face because that's the most memorable memorable thing you know what i'm saying you're gonna get once you see my artwork you see my face you're like dang who is that or when i post my posters up around the city even if you don't know me you see that face 
if you end up running into me, you like, dang, I seen that face right, before. Yeah. So it's like, it's going to click, you know what I'm saying, one way or another. Or if you see my posts, then you might see it on your Instagram feed or something. You'll be more, I feel like you'll be more willing to click it and be like, what is this now? Right. That was dope. And uh, what else I liked about it was because we, when y'all were promoting it, you actually dropped it on time. Yeah. Like, was that something that you had in mind, like, when you uh, make a project that you wanted to have it on time? Because I know a lot of times artists with labels, they have issues and yeah. they can't put it out on time, so they had to yeah. delay it. So was that something you did on intentionally make sure you had it on time? Yeah, I wanted to make sure I was ready, you know what I'm saying, prior to drop. I wanted to, I had everything ready before my date, you know what I'm saying? Right. I didn't want to make a date and then be trying to rush to get it out on time so yeah. I, I already had my stuff finished so today i had plenty of time to be ready you know what i'm saying yeah. get the whole roll out get my posters and everything all right so was it, was it always six tracks or did you have more in the beginning i had more tracks some of some of the beats i got like on like some beats i got on youtube and i tried to pay for them later but they was already sold you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i didn't want to put them on there you know but other than that those was a solid six. I ain't never wanted to be long. Yeah. Because I ain't want to oversaturate. I just wanted to be straight heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All hits, no miss. How many, how many uh, records you said, you, would you say you recorded before you kind of like tried to trim it down? I don't know. Uh, solo, solo, I put it like this. Solo records, maybe like eight to ten. But I could have put so many damning records on there, you know? Yeah, right. But that, that would have defeated the purpose of you know what I'm saying, individual project, but yeah. For the producers, uh, how, how do you find your producers? Cause I, I think the first record, Samo, uh, I looked at the guy, Pro, I think he was, I think he, I know he said he did some stuff for Gucci and some other yeah. artists, it was like he's from Chicago or something. How do you find your yeah. producers? See, we was, we was in this program in Atlanta, and we was with, um, he was in it too, he was one of the producers we was working with, and so we built a real good relationship relationship with him while we was doing that. Right. And that's that's one of the tracks we made down there. So, you know what I'm saying? We we purchased it from him and, you know, it was a go. I already knew that was a hit back yeah. then. Right. So we So that, that was the only that's the only project um beat that y'all got from him from so yeah. far? Well I won't say the only one. That's the only one we got that we done we done cleared and everything that was ready to put out. We got plenty plenty of tracks plenty plenty from him, yeah. Just in the vault. How long you say actually put to how long did it take to actually put this whole project together? I say a couple months, maybe maybe about two months. Two months max really. To be when I was really saying like, okay, I'm about to do a tape. You right. know what I'm saying? Cause initially I wasn't planning to do my own tape. Mm -hmm. But it just happened. So when I was like, shoot, we about to do these tapes, we about to do everybody about to do one. So I was like, yeah, let's go hard. I picked out, got a couple tracks going. I was like, yeah. I feel like it's good to, to do that though, to, to distinguish ourselves, not to break up the group, because I know y'all gonna stay together, but yeah. just to keep everybody relevant. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. like, y'all don't have like a draw spell with people like that. What if they make six forward? So, at least yeah. somebody's just steady putting out yeah. some kind yeah. of music. So, yeah. I, I feel like it's one way or another. Exactly. Yeah. How, um, for the um, project, did, did y'all take any input from anybody, or was it just like you want to do this by yourself? Or? It was it was us amongst ourselves we decided to do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I really I really feel like Steve's doing the first one that said Say something about it. He was yeah. like, man, we did, we all need to do a solo project, man. I think that'll go crazy. crazy yeah. So then it was like shoot, let's it's do working. it, you know what I'm right. saying? And it's I just happened to be first. Did you let them hear it beforehand or you kinda wanted to surprise them? They heard it, they heard everything. Right. They heard everything for the job. I I ain't let them hear it like, right, right after right. I hear it. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, like close to the time, I was like, okay. I'm gonna go back to Flozy real quick. How, how did you get the name for that for that record anyway? When I heard the beat, when I heard the beat, I sent it to my producer, um, I mean my engineer, Nitro. I sent it to him, and that's the name I put as the subject, Flozy, just cause the beat. I was like, dang, they go crazy. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> had even, I didn't even, I didn't even um, write that track. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even write the verses. I just. I was rocking with the beat so hard. I was like, shoot, when I get in the studio, I'm gonna be able to come up, come, come up with something with this easy. That's why, I, that's why the name ain't I'm the one, cause I didn't know what I was gonna write about. You know what I'm saying? So you, when you say you didn't write this, you mean you didn't write the lyrics? Or yeah, I didn't write the lyrics or nothing. I, that was just straight freestyle. I just went in there. The, oh, so the you, first thing I heard was as soon as the beat came on, I'm like, I'm the one you should be worried about. I like I'm just going in. Let me go oh, so in. you don't even so so you write sometimes you don't write. I write sometimes. Like I, I write most of the time. I just 
on this project, I recently just started like, let me just see how I feel when I go in there and see how I can. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what can come man, out organically? That's dope, though, man. A yeah. lot of times, people, some people, I mean, which I don't see anything wrong with write, writing. Yeah. You have to write, and it makes yeah, it work better. Right, and yeah. write. But um, speaking of that, uh, well, I'll get back to that in a second. But um, what's, what's, what would you say is your favorite record? And then, Pete, what you say what's your favorite record? It be, it's hard between Samo and River. I really love Flozy too, but Samo, I like. I just love myself in the group so yeah. much. I love Peas, I love Steez, I love what they bring to every track. So it's like, I can't get over the our sound as Dami864, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. But I love River too so much. It's, All right, let's do it this way. Let's exclude Samo. Samo yeah, okay. You gotta pick. Like, then you gotta pick one of my own. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably say River. River smooth. I like the way it feels. I like the vibe. Yeah, yeah. Five, that's that yeah. mainstream, you know, like, that's what I'm trying to get be. I ain't really team. trying to be under yeah. I'm trying to hit the charts type. We were saying, I mean, we were talking about earlier, like, man, that's something you can play the cook out and just yeah. vibe to it. I, yeah. I like the way that feels. My mama liked it. Yeah, yeah River, that's smooth, yeah. smooth, man. Peter, what would you say your favorite work? I say uh, River and Flows. Between them two. Yeah. You say no, you word. You want that? It is, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm saying like my favorite. Like, yeah. it, it, it is easy to yeah. say, but but like river, just it's just the vibe that they bring to me. I, I'm still stuck on crowd. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> stuck on crowd. Yeah. I, I want to hear all y'all on crowd too, but yeah, but every maybe for the video yeah. might get yeah. in there yeah. something. That'd, that'd be dope, man. Yeah. What, what's been the response from other people? Um, that's been uh, listening to what? What have they been saying is their favorite record? I really been impressed because initially, like when I first dropped, I felt like Flozy was gonna hit the hardest mm -hmm. just because the beat it's like a trap beat kind of like and, and the message I'm bringing and it's like a what I'm saying I'm the one you should be worried about. It's kind of yeah. like an anthem, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I feel like that would hit the hardest, but it really surprised me because nobody really say the same song. A lot of females say River. But a lot of males say River too, really? and know your worth. A lot of people say know your worth because what I'm talking, what we talking like about. The message, is, yeah, I like the message. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. like crowds too. Like a lot of people like to get turned up on Gotti. So it's like, yeah. I just love that they love everything, and not and not just one. You know. I want to ask y'all about. Um, we talked about it last time. The press E and T. Yeah. Is press E and T just y'all three, or is it like a whole group? And is somebody just one person that's particularly over the? President or my, my older brother Jordan, he called himself <coughs> James. He is he like the CEO. Yeah. But he he rap as well though. Mm -hmm. Rap the same. Him, you got wordplay look, and us. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And we like groups or we all, people that are yeah. under this thing that we pushed off. Exactly. How, what's the cause I, I don't know, uh what's the process of like actually clearing something? Like a project or something, y'all need to clear it through him, or is it like? No, nah, it's um, not like he ain't like a boss or a manager or anything like this. It's, it's all family. Like, yeah, we work together. Kind of like a mentor, like because he done been making music yeah. way longer than us, so, so he, he can help us. Like, yeah. if he say, you know, what I'm saying they might, you, they might sound better if you do this. Yeah, maybe that, or he might give us a another promotion strategy. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like behind the scenes stuff to yeah. help so much. How how often did you try to get in the pro in the studio, like? Right? I know it's hard to get everybody because y'all skilled. How often mm -hmm. did you try to do it like by yourself or, or whatnot? I went to the store a lot. Like I really, I really started going just based off of feeling. Like if I'm at work, I could be on the line. Like I work at a plant. You know what I'm saying? If I'm yeah. on the line, I feel the vibe. I'm like, hey man, I need to go to the studio yeah. today. I just call Stro and be like, you got some time? And I try to lock in for an hour or two and just whatever come out. I feel like every time I go, I make something good. You know, right. but. Over time, you know, some stuff starts sounding better than others. Yeah. So you just I, keep. Going. I saw um, where you you were on your Instagram, like you had like little clips where you were like performing like by yourself, like was mm -hmm. like a in front of an audience, like a talent show or something. Yeah, it was yeah, over mic, probably. Over, yeah, over it might have been, yeah, yeah, something like that. I've been hearing JJ Solomon over micing on Greenville. Okay, he had it down there at that club Epic on, on Wednesday nights. And Landon Cohen just recently opened up a bar right down Union Street. Oh, okay. he been doing open mic here Tuesday night. I done been up there like the last four weeks. What do you get out of those um, and you two people like when y'all do stuff like open mic? I think it just give me more experience performing. Give me 
know what I'm saying, less nervous when I see the crowd, you know what I'm saying, regardless if it's one person or a hundred or thousands, you know what I'm saying, you just get me more comfortable, know what I want to say before my song come on, mm -hmm. know how I want to present myself to the people, and just, you know what I'm saying, make them feel me. Is what you get out of it. Um, I haven't been to Landon Cohen's yet, but like my recent experience with Open Mics, it's just like comfortable, being comfortable once you do something so many times, it's like a practice make. Some people say like say practice makes perfect, but I was taught practice made per permanent. Because if you like permanently do it wrong, then it's gonna be wrong. Yeah. Right. So yeah. You practice it the right way, then get comfortable. Is it a weird film? You know, because y'all are a group and we gotta do something by yourself. Yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. But, but when you I got feel, your boys to support you, it, yeah. it, it, it's like y'all there. You know what I'm saying? Right. You think of this um, your project sets the bar like not. I guess it's kind of like friendly competition. Yeah, you right. They set the bar. They gotta come. They gotta come. They gotta keep. They gotta come. It ain't no. Ain't no. Ain't no house there. So it's six records for everybody. Or how you think y'all want? Yeah. It ain't no limit. It's just how many y'all want. Yeah. How many they want? Just vibe. It's like it's not. Be on here. Be better than mine. Quality. Yeah. We need to be elevating and not descending. You want to surprise them and just say, nah, I'm going to make y'all wait to hear the project, or you want to? I mean, they Because well, I know y'all probably going to do a project together on yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They, they, we done heard most of Yeah, that. they done heard most of my stuff. And I got, see, I got, um, I don't get into it, but I got, like, more songs. So I got more features with Dammit. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Because I got more more songs, so. How many uh, videos you plan to shoot for? You shoot all I six. really want to shoot all of them, honestly. I want to shoot all. Cause they want to be long anyway. Yeah, yeah. Long. Cause the tape only seventeen minutes. Yeah. So you know, like, yeah, I got to almost listen something. to the whole project all the way to work, like twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it's like yeah, yeah, you can listen to it going. You really gotta bro. repeat. It. <laughs> it go by so fast. Yeah, yeah. but that thing go. Yeah, and that's the thing. But I'm telling you, like I said this last time too. It's I look at the formula like the baby's doing, like those short records. It's mm -hmm. like he's almost putting out a video to everything yeah, he's doing, it's, and it's catchy it's too. Catchy. Yeah. It's and catchy. Man, I mean, I know he's been grinding for a while, but yeah, it's man. like when I when I started paying attention to him back in October, it like he just that's when he shot up. He just yeah, took yeah, off. That's when I mean, he, he had up. some antics or whatever, but but besides that, he was still dope. Like, yeah. yeah, baby was just still dope. Even better, yeah. Super dope, man. Yeah. But I was like, I like the way. So I think it'd be dope to see see the videos for everything too. Cause I mean, yeah, all of them sound like they need a video too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the real. I, I like to see that real video yeah, in the vibe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, a classic video for that. Yeah. Song. Is there anything you wish you would have done differently or added to this project? Um, not really. Not. I'm really satisfied with it. I'm really satisfied with it. Like. I like everything about it. I like the different vibes. You ain't, I don't sound the same on anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're going to get a different vibe every time and you're going to feel me a different way. So I just, I'm really loving it. I play my time every day. Mm -hmm. Facts. Yeah, I listen to it every day too, man. We just listen on, to it on the way here, man. I just I just like the way it feels, man. It's just like, a, it's short and sweet. Sweet, but it's high intense energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, so who, so who's next? Who oh, dropped the Peas. Peas. Peas and then Deontay. Deontay. You already got the name for your? Yeah, um, Beautiful Nightmare. Beautiful Nightmare? Yeah. All right, all right. What's the uh what's the meaning behind yours? What? Um, it's like a see it, it, I, I suffer from like anxiety and depression like in the past, so it's like a beautiful side and a nightmare side to life in general as a whole. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of stuff that go on mentally that a lot of people don't you know, or have a problem with expressing. So I just tried to express that. All right, we just got a couple more questions and then we'll, we'll wrap it up for y'all. But I, I gotta ask y'all, um, of course, on the broader, um, um, we're gonna expand it a little bit more. Hip hop for this year, how do y'all, how has hip hop been this year for y'all? Um, man, that's a good question. I say, I say it's been pretty good. I think, I think um, the mumble rap and the, X is talking about popping pills, yeah. popping Zan. Every time, every song, I think that's it's slowly fading away. If oh, people yeah. want to hear, people want to hear the real. People want to hear you really spit. You really say something, or they want to hear you. I feel like a lot more people singing now too, or yeah. a lot yeah. more rappers on their auto tune and just using melody. And I feel like it's going in the right direction somehow, some way. I think Nipsey 
the, the Nipsey situation kind of changed yeah. the look on hip hop. I do yeah. too. Yeah. Like, people kind of took a step back to kind of breathe. Like, like, well, like you want to say something? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's like you want to. You don't want to leave no on. legacy just talking about anything. You yeah. It still feels unreal to me, man. Yeah. Like, it's like, like, and I ain't even know him. You yeah. know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Like Calvin actually put me on Nipsey, and I—I I mean, I was always saying Victory Lap was my favorite project from last year. But it, to me, yeah. it just felt—I mean, it, it was like people weren't putting out as many projects as they were last year already, because yeah, I think yeah. everybody dropped. But then when Nipsey passed away, man, who was uh, murdered, it just felt like he just left this dark cloud. Oh, wow. Yeah, it just still feel weird to it's me. Like, it's like, man, I just—I don't know, man. Hip hop, it just like. It's just down yeah, now yeah, because of like, everybody mourning over Nipsey. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, you hate hate to see him go, man. But and I always say, man, death, death to me, it's not, it's never easy. But and I, and I mean, I hate when people pass away. But celebrities, this is probably the first celebrity that really like made me like, dang, yeah, man, like, feel feel, like, yeah. yeah. And, and you didn't have to like know him, or yeah, like or that. even crazy. listen to him. It's like you can tell by the impact he got on everybody else. That's exactly. Like, that's that's that 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 and I just appreciate him for the stuff that he was doing, man. Like he he left jewels in his music and then mm-hmm. the business, man. Like yeah. how he was on his business and, and ownership. And that's what kind of that's what really motivated me too to start my own company because yeah. just listening to Nip- Nipsey, man. I was like, man, he he was somebody from the jump that I always had one of his hands on everything. Yeah, everything he created, yeah. Like, yeah. Because back then when we were coming up, man, you would just see artists popping bottles and doing yeah, all the stuff videos. Mm-hmm. But like Nipsey just was the type spitting of dude. knowledge. Yeah, just spitting knowledge and like you would see video because of him, he was just saying he wanted ownership and, yeah. and investing in real estate and stuff yeah. like that. So that's what I really appreciate about Nipsey, man. But it just to me it's like, man, I don't know. And it's like I I don't think it'll ever be another Nipsey anyway. Yeah, I, don't like like that. I think he was just one of a kind, man. Right. But yeah. but to see him the way he passed away, man, it's just like I don't know. We hurting ourselves, man. We are. Exactly. It's a cycle. And it don't make sense, man. Like a guy like that who's investing in the people. Yeah. It's like, what more do you he, want from somebody? Like, yeah, he exactly. for us. Like, what more do you want from somebody who who's giving back to our own people? It's like, man, the the kind of stuff you see why when people blow up, they got to move away from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's like, like they say, sometimes your own people. You're the ones that hate on you the most. Right. Yeah. And it's always that, that booster clip that goes viral every yeah. single time. Yeah, it's, it's true. true. It's true. You though. said it though. Booster true. said it. You think y'all would ever want to move away or would you try to steal? I want to move now. I do too. Yeah. And it ain't just because of, you know what I'm saying? It ain't because of specifically that reason because I feel like we ain't necessarily in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or have this street. Image, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, but more so, just I feel like we bigger, we bigger. Our sound, our music, our message is bigger than just right here. We can affect, we can affect people every, everywhere. You right. know what I'm saying? I still think it's possible to to make it here, though. Like I do too. I, I, I think Carolina is really place. like getting on the map now. Yeah, yeah, yeah most it's still yeah. popping out. So I still yeah. think you can you can uh, you can do it here, man. It's just. I don't know it like you said pressure. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's like whether it's the sound or, or what, what it is, but, but for some reason it does seem like we're kinda late on music. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're late. We're late. It's 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 definitely the sound though. The sound has a big a big factor in it because people in our area they like a sound. They like a certain sound. And it's hard beats. With a bass that, with a yeah. hard bass and rapping ig- uh, ignorant rap, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just I don't care about what nobody about to say about us. What I'm saying is just I'ma say it though. You know, I'ma, if I'ma it go, it go. Yeah. But see, that's what separates y'all because y'all like, y'all not like street artists. Like, yeah, yeah. And I think people will appreciate that over time because y'all as as we get older, you don't want to really hear that. Stuff yeah. that way. So yeah. it's like I think that's why who who was it? I see, I seen something the other day. Longevity. Where they was, was, yeah. well, there was some artist that um, was doing the interview, and somebody told her that they felt like they were ahead of their time because they didn't rap about the street stuff. Like, yeah. you know, they were kind of a conscious rapper. I can't remember who it was I watched, but um, it was like, man, you you just ahead of your time because artists nowadays want to rap about being in the streets and all that stuff. But now it's like, 
people like really listen to his music. Yeah. Can't remember who it was though. But man, I I feel like y'all can do it. And I thank my guy. Shout out to DJ Montana. He does a good job, man, yeah. of like trying to put artists on the map. But he yeah. works up at uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, he, he loves to try to put other artists on. Yeah, get at us. I got him. <laughs> yeah. What sure. else y'all feel like um, this area needs to do music wise? Um, I feel like we linking up a lot more. Yeah, we are linking up a lot more. Yeah, yeah, but we can we can still do more, you know. But I feel like we really headed in the right direction. I done linked up with a lot of people from around here. I know peace have yeah. business. We it's getting more family like with that open mic I was telling you about with Landon like it, that's just straight artists the audience really be straight artists you know what I'm saying so after you perform you supporting the next artist you ain't got no choice because they just supported you right you know? so and it's like they just I think it's the support yeah yeah it's just, um, it takes really is you support each other networking man yep. yeah that's 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 the key I, that's something else I took from Nipsey man like. Don't take anything for granted, man, because you can say, yeah, man, we're going to get up and do a, a record together, mm -hmm. and then the next thing you know, it goes. It could be over, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I was like, man, because I remember they were saying he was, him and YG were supposed to do something together, him and me. Mm -hmm. He talked about they were supposed to do something together, the next thing you know, so he oh. gone just like that, man. So that that's, it's, it still bothers me, man. But like, I, I just, I always talk about it all the time. I tell Calvin, man, it just, to me, that just still kind of put me in like a, a down spirit, yeah, 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 because I was like, man, somebody like that who's, who's giving back and now he's gone, and then when you listen to his music, it's like it just meant yeah, so, so much, yeah. yeah. Then hearing this, like, dang, it's like he, it seemed like he knew, you know what I'm saying? It seemed like yeah, he knew what time it was. So let me go ahead and tell y'all, get y'all this free game. Yeah, that the video yeah. higher, man. It was yeah, like, I, yeah, it just gave me chills yeah, when yeah, I watched it. That definitely get you emotional. because this is like it was kind of like his send off, like. He was I'm not saying he was ready to go, but it was kind of like he was at peace. Like yeah. he was, if he was, if it was his time, then yeah, I feel like he did what he had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I, I just wonder if they went back and after he passed and probably edited the video to kind of make it look like that. Because they didn't oh, no. Because if, if they did it, like that's that's crazy. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they let you know, like he said in uh, on video, like he said evidence of a divine presence. Yeah, like this dude, man, the way he moved, man. And just change changes his life and other people's lives, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, it's like, man, you can't take that kind of once stuff. in a lifetime. Yeah, man. So I, I mean, I just been in like this 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 funky hip hop mood, man. But mm -hmm. of course, uh, one of my favorite artists. He uh, hopefully he drops sometime this year. I know he'll do something. Um, probably pay a tribute to him, Ross. Yeah, you know yeah. he's kind of conscious and he'll yeah. yeah. drop him and Ross, I think he was um. He declined off from Ross or something like that. I think I he did. Yeah, but I'm saying. He's going to be he independent. He's going to be independent yeah. on yeah. that thing, yeah. And there was something dope. I went back and watched one of his videos on uh, The Breakfast Club when he was on there, like, 2013. And he was saying that some of the songs that weren't on Victory Lap, he was like, he put them on, on Crenshaw. Yeah. And if you listen to Crenshaw, it's like, man, Crenshaw was, yeah, it's, it was. It's dope. Yeah, Crenshaw Especially was the, the last record, the, uh, the Crenshaw Slauson record, man. Like, yeah. how he... Talked about his grind and, and how it go. I like, yeah, like the way it flows, man. man. Yeah, man. That's why I'm like, man. Somebody who can make music like that and it's still over time, time. Just, still feel it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Can't beat it. It's a classic, man. So I was like, man, this that it's just something, man. That's it still bother me, man. I just hope everybody, uh, just like you said, support each other. Support yeah, each other. Not, each other, man. man. And I love how y'all doing it, man. Like even uh. Everybody changing their profile picture. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll tell you what was so crazy, though, what was funny. Because one day, Deontay posted. And I think it was, like, right at the beginning when y'all changed our profile picture. Yeah. And so, at first, I thought it was only you that had changed your profile picture for that for your EP. Right. So, he posted something like uh, saying, uh, we got some last-minute deals on cars. Come get you one. So I sat back there. I said, "Zay will start selling cars." <laughs> so I thought it was you that was doing. So I went back and looked, and I was like, "It was him yeah. that had actually changed his um." A couple his, people said, "Yeah." yeah. yeah. So I was like, "Dang, man, I didn't even know you started selling cars." Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, that's dope to see y'all um, showing each other love, man. Hope y'all yeah. keep doing it. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. But keep on, man. It's gonna, change, it's gonna change the piece soon. Exactly, man. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, man, y'all fellas, just keep on pushing, man. Uh, before we get out of here, what's some more goals for y'all? I know I asked y'all last. I want to ask y'all again. What other goals do y'all have going forward? I see like expanding. Um, like we said, it's, it's it's more to the world than Spartanburg, obviously. 
especially with being an artist, we just trying to get ourselves out there. Yeah. Trying to get it everywhere. Make moves, Make get moves. to the right people, get in the right people's face, work with some bigger producers, you know, just really put the work in, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Really grind and make it ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Rather than expect somebody to come give it to us because they heard us. You right. Know what I'm Continue to grind, man. Keep on networking. Cause I know y'all will, man. But I, I just love y'all music. Like I said, Big Damn is dope. So I know everybody else will keep bringing it, man, because yes, this, is, this is something, man, y'all want to make sure y'all got to. Y'all live up to. But before we got here, get everybody y'all social media once again. All right. You can follow me. Instagram Zabo got it is Z A B O G O T T I Z A B O G T G O T T I um, Twitter got it Zabo the opposite way G O T T I Z A B O um, Poetic Peas P O E T I C P E E Z that's on Instagram and Twitter um, at Damiage is for everywhere Facebook Instagram Twitter make sure y'all do that. Yep. Big damn me out everywhere. everywhere. Right. Appreciate y'all fellas. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, y'all keep it up, man. Shout out to Deontay, even though he couldn't make it today. Yep. Shout out to Steve's shout out to my brother. Big money. And one last time, make sure you guys go check out Miss Charlene's on Black Stop Roll. Make sure y'all go buy it. Yeah, you might go there. Some of the best man. foods you have, man. But thank you, Miss Charlene, for sponsoring this episode. So until next time, keep chasing dreams. This is Cross Line Podcast. Thank you for listening. Yes, yeah. sir.